All right, welcome to uh, one of my Lecom projects. Uh, today I decided to um, come up with a uh, rear panel control for the uh, Kenwood radio you see here. Uh, this particular Kenwood radio is a uh, TK7360 VHF 50 watts. Um, this is going to be mounted. Actually, this is our actually our, going to be our base station, but I have um, two of these mobiles mounted in our fire engines, and uh, because we're tight on money, instead of mounting two radios, one on the pump panel or engineer's panel, and one at the front of the engine, I decided to come up with a remote control for the main channels that the engineer would use on the main rig. So uh, I looked in the software for the radio. And uh, there's this thing called Remote Zone Channel Guide. Basically, what it does is uh, you have uh, four pins on the back of the radio. See here where it says Channel Select A, B, C, and D. Pull that out a little bit. What that does is when you ground those pins in certain configurations, it will change to the selected channels that you have programmed in your remote zone channel guide. So I have 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 13 down here at the bottom. Um, so what I do is I have a uh, six position rotary control switch, as you can see here. Uh, the first position will be off, which would be normal mode like that. Then the second position is our iFern channel, then um, this third is red fire ground, then white fire ground, blue fire ground, and then our training channel at the end. So those are the main channels that we would, our engineer would need to use the main radio for. So uh, basically what happens is right now it's off, so that means I have com complete control of the front radio. So you can scan off, change channels up and down, whatnot, volume up, down. So what I would do, if, we were, if I was the engineer, I would get on scene, we put ourselves on scene, the officer would do that, and I would go to the rear pump. After I got my all my stuff set up, I, uh, I'm going to have them mounted in these nice Radio Shack project boxes with labels for each channel, which position is what. And there will be a remote microphone with an external speaker back there. So I'll come on scene, and I'll... change the switch. Now all of a sudden you see the front radio says remote control. Now I'll know on my project box because it's labeled what channel I'm on. So now I'm on iFern, red, white, blue, and our training channel. And then once I go into off mode, the radio now has its complete functioning back up for the, uh, when we get back up in front of the rig. So uh, this is just the beginning. I put it together. Obviously, you see I had to. You see the two uh, diodes um, for uh, position uh, channel three or the third position. I have to have A and B lines grounded. So I just used what I did was I used two reverse uh, two diodes, one connected to the A spot and the B spot, then to the uh, seat the one position. So it would, uh, as you know, with a diode it blocks the polarity in one direction so um that's it when i get it uh further put together i'll uh show it all to you thanks bye